Chiapas, the southernmost state of Mexico, is known for its coffee, beautiful nature, and vibrant culture. Coffee is not Chiapas' only pride and joy, it's the sounds of Chiapas that have us mesmerized. In addition to the coffee, it's the marimba. The marimba is the official state instrument of Chiapas, but in Mexico it's also really popular in Veracruz, Oaxaca, and Tabasco. And in Guatemala, it's the national instrument. You're also likely to hear marimba in countries like Belize, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Colombia, and Ecuador. So where is the marimba originally from then? There are different theories as to where exactly the marimba originates from. But in actuality, it's a fusion of cultures that's difficult to pinpoint an exact location of where it was born. Having roots in Africa, the marimba derives from the African xylophone that arrived to the Americas with slavery. Over time, as Africans and indigenous peoples began to mix, so did their cultures and the marimba. Welcome to Eat Baila Travel. My name is Jenny, Kevin's behind the camera, and we're two Mexican-Americans who are traveling throughout Mexico in search of home. But our journey has been more about just finding a place to live. It's been about reconnecting with our roots and learning about culture and history in a way that we didn't have a chance to do growing up in the United States. We love to eat, we love to dance, and we love to travel. So those are the things that you'll see in our channel. But a big part of travel and culture and dancing is music. And that's one of the many reasons we've been long looking forward to visiting Chiapas. So to learn more about Marimba and its history, we took a visit to the Marimba Museum in Tuxtla Gutierrez, Chiapas. Hola, muy buenas tardes. Nos encontramos en Museo de la Marimba, Seferino Nandaya Parralda. Sean ustedes bienvenidos. Voy a ser su guía. Mi nombre es Verónica. ¿Alguna pregunta? Pues estamos a las órdenes. Vamos a comenzar con este artefacto. This is a replica of a pre-Hispanic artifact, a marimba de arco, or an arched marimba, that is believed to have been brought from Africa to Latin America. Each of the wooden bars has a hollow gourd beneath it to resonate sound. In Chiapas, that piece is known as the pumpo. The pumpo is the fruit of a gourd or calabash plant that has been used as a water container, bowl, or decoration in Mexico for thousands of years. When cut into its bowl form, it's known as a jicara. Estos son los famosos teponastes, son instrumentos prehispánicos. Los mayas, los aztecas, aquí en Chiapas, este, los tzotziles, lo tocan mucho en la temporada de festividades religiosas. Se utilizan para hacer rituales y danzas. Su nombre es náhuatl, que significa ahuecado, porque el tronco en sí, en la parte de abajo, one of the first recordings of a marimba here in Chiapas is around the year 1541 during the Spanish composition. Para 1545 en Chiapas se encuentra la primera marimba que tiene por nombre Yolotl, que también significa marimba de hoyo. Sus dos patas que son estos troncos son enterrados sobre suelo y al quedar colgando sus teclitas Debajo de ella hacen un agujerito para que al momento de golpear haya un sonido. En esa época cuenta una leyenda que un The origin story of the marimba here in Chiapas goes like this. A group of indigenous Chiapanecos were introduced to African slaves at the finca of Santa Lucia, where they were enslaved by the Spanish together. The African natives there brought their instrument with them, the xylophone. It's during this era that we see the mix of races, cultures, and instruments, and thus the results of the marimba. Este es un xilófono de tablones africano. No es original, es una réplica. Pero es muy parecido al instrumento de nosotros. ¿Y cuál sería la diferencia entre el xilófono y la marimba? La diferencia serían sus sonidos. Nada más tiene un sonido. Es un sonido de percusión. En cambio la marimba, si se dan cuenta, tiene dos teclas. Ajá. Medios tonos y tonos naturales. Que pueden hacerse otro tipo de música. Ajá. En cambio con esto son sonidos, son danza, son rituales. Y el tercero ejecuta el sonido. Pero cada tablilla tiene un pequeño punto debajo. De acuerdo al sonido, grave, medio y agudo. 
It's an instrument unique to this region of the Americas, and its origin is often claimed by other states and Latin American countries. And I understand why so many people are so proud of it and want to claim ownership. More important than who had it first or where the marimba specifically originated is the fact that this is an Afro-Indigenous mesh of cultures that should be celebrated throughout Latin America. We really enjoy learning about the evolution of la marimba and its music. Next time you're in Tuxtla Gutierrez, we highly recommend the 40 minute tour for only 30 pesos. If you're visiting Chiapas, one of the most highly recommended restaurants is Las Pichanchas. They offer regional food, live marimba music, and dance performances in the evenings. What is this? Pascalate. Pascalate? Yeah, it smells a lot like a cow. I think I have a new go to refreshing drink. After living in Puerto for such a long time, this is the first time I feel like I'm trying something completely different. The meats, the tamales, different flavors. Very different to what we're used to, right? More meat, different new flavors, new herbs probably. We ordered a uh, mole, chiapaneco which they describe as being sweet, which is a little different from the mole from Oaxaca. It tends to have a little bit more of a cacao uh, chocolatey taste, but let's see how it tastes. Oh, it is way sweeter than the one in Oaxaca. Wow. Like it? I do. But, <laughs> can you tell which one I like better? No, it's good. It's good. I think I just have a preference. Marimba music is so unique, so special in Mexico that it's part not the first type of music most people think of when they think of Mexico. Especially in the US, the more popular Mexican music is the regional or the Norteño music. When we were in Monterrey, we had the chance to make a vlog all about Norteño music, how it differentiates from Tejano music, and just how that culture came to be in Monterrey, Nuevo León. If you haven't already seen that video, I highly recommend it. We're gonna link it up here. We talk about the European influences and just where Norteño music came from. So we're really excited to be able to do that now for marimba. So how do you dance marimba music? Well, that depends. If they play Bruno Mars covers, then you just jam. If they play a cumbia, then you cumbia. They also play boleros románticos. And even norteñas and rancheras. The music styles can get really creative. One thing's for sure though, marimba groups don't include vocalists. The marimba acts as the singer. For example, this cumbia.
And of course, this Bruno Mars song. Tuxla Gutierrez has a park dedicated to this musical instrument where they offer free performances for the public five nights a week. The local municipality takes pride in the fact that they administer this cultural tradition without help from the state government. I want to give a quick shout out to all of our Patreon members. Without your support, this video could not be done. Thank you so much for supporting in what we believe in and in the Eat Baila Travel community. If you'd like to join our Patreon community, you can join any of our memberships with the link below. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below. Se cuiden, se bañen y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Chao.